Berlin. Hey guys, what is Macintosh here, and this video is going to be the unboxing of my Microsoft Surface Pro 3. And of course we have Bryce today. Alright, so here's the box that has just arrived in the mail, and I went ahead and cut open the box. But I have not yet actually held the Surface Pro 3 box itself, because I wanted this to be the first impression. But overall this shipping box is very light, and of course this has a lot of packing material and cardboard and stuff. and remove the plastic and put that off to the side and here we have the paper that shows that it is in fact shipped to me I'm going to put that off to the side and in here is the Surface Pro 3 box itself which of course is very cold because it has been sitting outside all day <laughs> the box is here we'll go ahead and take this out of the plastic material this box is actually a lot thinner than I thought, even though I knew it would be thin. And like with everything I get, I watch unboxings of for like a solid week ahead of time. But here you can see the specs. Right there. And now we'll go ahead and open it. Here is the outside box. There's obviously nothing else inside. We'll go ahead and put that off to the side. Right here we have the Surface Pro 3 itself with a very Apple-like tab of pulling out of the box. This does feel very sturdy already. It is actually a lot thinner and lighter than I thought, even though I used one today and I'm probably just fanboying right now. But uh, it is very cold, I guess, from sitting in the UPS truck, so we'll just set this off to the side while we take everything else out of the box. Next, we have the manual here. We'll go ahead and remove this plastic. And here is a quadruple A battery for the Intrigue pen. Let's go ahead and put that off to the side also. We can remove these from the plastic here. In here we just have what appears to be like a quick start guide which generally just shows everything on how to set up the surface. We will not need that. And this is probably a limited warranty guide and cleaning and stuff instructions. We'll put these off at the side also. And right here we have the Intrigue pen which I've actually never held one of these, and this does feel a lot more like a pen than a stylus. So it definitely makes sense why they would call it a pen. Put that off to the side. Can you use it as a real pen? Her, her. Go ahead yes. and just open this part of the box and remove the charger, which comes in this box here. And of course, the Surface Pro chargers are always unique because they have a USB port on the power brick, which of course will allow you to charge a third or another device right here from the USB port. Other than that, it is a pretty right, standard so it appears to be all that is in the box. So we will go ahead and put the unnecessary stuff away. And go ahead and close the box up. Put that back over here. And now I will go ahead and remove the plastic from the surface here. This is definitely very Apple-like. Kind of a weird way. There you go, completely without fingerprints. You can see it is glossy, but it's not as reflective as the camera makes it seem. You can see the back. This is, of course, the Vapor Mag, which is just Microsoft's term for their advanced magnesium structure. We'll go ahead and turn it on with this button right here at the top. You can see the surface screen. Of course we can unscrew the Intrigue pen and put the quadruple A battery in. Which of course instructions are right here. And according to that little sticker, the pointy part of the battery goes down there. And we just screw that in. Now I would assume it works right off the bat. Yes. This is really nice already.
Here, hold on a second, it's about to load. Alright, so here you can see the start screen, which of course looks like the start screen on every other Windows 8 or Windows 8.1 computer system. If we go ahead and go to the desktop, we now have the Windows 8.1 desktop, of course on the 3x2 2160 by 1440 display here. If we right click on the start menu, here you can see we have the i7 4650U at 1.7 gigahertz, 8 gigabytes of RAM, and of course this is Windows 8 with the 64-bit operating system. Alright, there you go, thank you for watching my unboxing and initial setup of the Microsoft Surface Pro 3. Please subscribe. Say bye, Bryce. Yeah, bye, big boy. Hey guys, Windows Macintosh here, and this video is going to be the unboxing of my Microsoft Surface Pro 3. And of course, we have Bryce today. Hello. Let's get a close up. That's terrifying. Anyway, now I can. Because it has been sitting outside all day. So cold, my lips are hard. They thought, even though I knew it would be thin. And like with everything I get, I watch unboxings of for like a solid week ahead of time. But here you can see the specs. Right there. And now we'll go ahead and open it. So you start by just sliding it out after you cut the tape, which I will do. And here's one of those moments where I find something that uh, I didn't know was there, even though I watched so many unboxings, so I cut this part out. And then I repeat everything I said so I can get the best sounding one. Don't cut your hair. So I open the box and there's a big knife mark in the surface. <laughs> Crack, okay. Now we can continue. <clears throat> Make sure it's there. Okay, so of course the first step is to remove it from the box. And then in here we have... I don't know. Let's get a close up. It's terrifying. Anyway, now I can. Now I can. It's terrifying. Anyway, now I can move on to the actual Surface Pro 3.